Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create watermarks in Adobe Premiere Pro. So they look a little something like this, where you can create a video and you can put a watermark on it so you can share it with people and not be worried that they're going to take it in some way because the watermark essentially ruins the clip for, for them. So you have the, the regular text one, and then we can also do a logo in the center. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. This is a pretty easy effect to pull off. All you really need to do is to manipulate the opacity here. So let's go in and let's start with our text one. So if we just go to the text tool on the left here, click anywhere on our uh, sequence or in our preview panel right here, we can begin typing and we can type, you know, um, Adobe Masters and the copyright symbol is, you could go find it online and copy and paste it, but what I can do, or what I usually do, is just hold the Alt key and then type 0169 on a numpad, and it'll actually bring its alt code up and drop the copyright symbol in there. But if you if you don't know how to do that, then just go look it up online. You can copy and paste it in. So the, the style that we want to have here is we want to have a slightly larger font, a little bit more width to it. So what I'm using is Minion Pro and Bold. And then what we need to do is we need to make the fill not pure black, but pretty close to black and then the stroke of white, and then maybe around 10 or so on the stroke. And what this does is it, it creates this sort of, uh, this style that works really good for a watermark. Now, once we have all that going for us, we can just go over into the opacity, so effect controls, find the text layer, or in this situation, the entire graphics layer, and we're going to lower down the opacity. And bringing it to whatever you want is fine. If you want a really light one, you can maybe go 12%. If you want it to be a little bit more sort of in your face, maybe around 30 to 40%, I'm gonna go right about 35, 34% right there. And so now you have this just sitting in the background. Now let's make this centered. Really simple to do that. Go to Essential Graphics and just click on both of these buttons right here, the horizontal and the vertical center. And what that does is it just takes it and puts it directly in the center. And so now we have a perfect little watermark going right here. Next thing we can do is we can just drag in a logo so I can drop my uh, Adobe Masters logo in here. And we can do basically the same process. A logo is pretty simple. Open up the logo panel, scale it to what you want, position it where you want, and then just, again, drop that opacity down. So maybe, usually you don't do logos in the center just because it kind of makes it hard to see the quality of the clip. So what we can do is actually bring it down to maybe a corner like so. It looks a little bit better in the corner and then maybe a little bit smaller too. So something like this. And then now we have this branded in two different watermarks, making it very, very hard to copy. Well, essentially it ruins the clip because you can't actually steal this anymore. There's no way you can remove this from the center and this from the bottom right. And then in, if you have multiple clips, for example, uh, instead of just having this one, we also have this clip in here as well of this plane here. All you have to do is just keep extending these out to however long and they will just move from one to the next and keep your watermark. That's basically it. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you also see my videos, send me this one, go ahead and subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.